Hello children, welcome back. Today we are going to learn environmental studies. Lesson number 2, So many kinds of animals, part 2. Before starting part 2, let's remember what we have learned in part 1. We have learned to identify the animals by the living place. We have learned to identify the animals by their color. We have learned to identify the animals by their size. And we have learned to identify the animals by their movements. Now, let's learn about these animals. Can you tell why do we keep cows? Yes, you are correct. We keep cows to get milk. Name some other animals that are useful to us. Again, you all are correct. These are cats, dog, cow, bullock. These are useful animals to us. Why do we not like it if there are a mice or bed bug in our house? Because these animals destroy things from our house. At the same time, these animals can spread disease too. So, we don't like these animals in our house. You find us useful. People love to keep animals. The dog guards our house. People like to keep cats. Cows, buffaloes and cats gives us milk. Some people keep hens. We get meat, milk and eggs from animals. Bullocks help with farm work. Hitched to a cart, they can draw heavy burdens too. Horses, donkey to use to carry burdens. We look after the animals we keep. We feed them. We take care of them when they are ill. The animals we keep become very dear to us. Oh ho! Students, can you tell me which are these animals? Yes, of course, you all are correct. Now children, like your pet animals, we can find some other animals like spider, lizard, cockroaches, mice, mosquitoes. Do you love them? Of course, no one loves them. Do you feed them? Like your pets? No. We know these animals are like uninvited guests. They are called gate crashers. Some animals enter our houses even though we don't want them. Mice and rats destroy stored grain besides gnawing the other things in the house. Sometimes we find bait bugs in our house. The sucker blood. Spiders make cops in the house. Mosquitoes, flies, gnats and cockroaches are nuisance too. Even so, these troublesome animals too have an important place in nature. We suckle our young ones. Suckle means to grow up on their mother's milk. Young ones of animals like the cow, dog, goat and rat grow up on their mother's milk. They have four legs. They have hair on their body. They have external ears like us. We fly. We all know that birds can fly. They have two wings to fly with. Their body is covered with feathers. 
there are differences in their flying ability of different birds. The eagle can soar high into the sky and stay in the air for a long time. But the cock and peacock does not fly high and comes down soon too. We live in the water. There are different kinds of fishes like whale, dolphin, shark, starfish, fish and octopus. They live in water. Fish have fins. They use their fins to move in water. There are scales on their body. A fish has gills behind its eyes. Fish use gills to breathe in water. We creep and crawl. Chameleons, house lizards and snakes are animals that crawl. They have scales on their bodies. Chameleons and house lizards have four legs but these legs are very short. The snake does not have any legs at all. We are insects. Butterflies have wings too. And we know that the animals having wings, we call them birds. But though the butterflies are having wings, they are not birds. We call them as an insects because they are smaller than birds and besides they have six legs. Animals which have six legs are called insects. So butterflies are not birds, they are insects, correct. Mosquitoes Houseflies and cockroaches are insects too. Do you know students? Bats have wings but they don't have feathers on their body. Young ones of bats feed on their mother's milk. Bats are not birds like the cow, sparrow and cock. They are included in the group of cow tiger, deer and mouse. Now let's use your brain student. Into which of the following groups would you put the owl, the monitor lizard and the cat? Start your thinking. Let's see whether you are correct or not. See we have written the cat in the group of cow, dog and the goat because cat suckle its young ones like cow, dog and goat. And we have written the owl in the group of crow, sparrow and parrot because the owl can fly like these birds. The monitor lizard we have written in the Camelins, house lizards and snakes group because this all can crowd. So what we have learned today student? Yes, different animals are found in the air, on the ground and in water. There are differences in the colors, shapes and sizes of animals and also in the ways they move. We find some animals useful, we keep such animals. Some animals are nuisance for us. Scientists classify animals according to certain important characteristics. Always remember, variety is the rule in nature. So children, it is very interesting to learn about all such animals. Do try to find out more about them when you are older. Thank you.